Yes. So I welcome you to the database lecture series. And as you know, we are discussing about normalization. And in the last lecture, I have gone through the third normal form. Okay, and there we, I have discussed about the transitive dependency. Now, today in today's lecture, I have brought one important topic that is known as multi-valued dependency. Okay, and why I want to discuss this topic because in just next lecture, I'm going to discuss the port normal form. But you can understand port normal form concept only when you have clear idea about the multi-value dependency. So let's start today's class. So multi-value dependency. In short form, just I'm representing it as MD. When the multi-value dependency occurs, that is the first question. Okay, so MD occurs or multi-value dependency occurs when two attributes in a table are independent of each other, but both depend on a third attribute. Got it? Means say we have two attributes A1 and A2. They are independent. A2 and A1 are independent. But what happened? There exists another attribute, say AT, and both A1 is dependent on AT and A2 is also dependent on AT. Then we say that there exists multivalued dependency. Clear? Now, <clears throat> as we have seen that there should be two attributes which are independent to each other. So, multivalued dependency occurs when there is at least two attributes, okay, and they are dependent on the third attribute, so there should be at least how many attributes? Three attributes. I have used the term at least. You may note that for multi-value dependency, there should be at least three attributes. Clear? And why you have just seen, I have explained the fact that why there should be at least three attributes in a multi-value dependency. Now, uh, I think this concept will be more clear when I will go through one example. So let's take an example. Say there is a car manufacturer company which produces two colors, blue and red. Okay, any car manufacturer company and you know, different models that car manufacturer company is producing every year. So, in this table or in this relation, say I am giving the title of the table as car model info. So, let's consider this table. And here we have three attributes. First one is car model. Second one is manufacturer, means manufacturing year, and then third one is color. Clear? Now you see that in the car model we have say Y6001, and that is manufactured in the year 2015, and the color we have for that model is blue and red also. Means there are two variants of color for the model Y6001. That is blue and red. Clear. Then Y7005 is one more model that is produced in the year 2018. And there also we have two variants of color, blue and red. Clear. Then similarly, Y8009 that is being manufactured in the year 2020 and two variants of colors are there, blue and red. So why I'm explaining these facts, if you notice carefully, then what particular characteristic that you will see in this table? Can you tell me? Yes. What? See, this color and this manufacturer here, they are independent of each other. Why? Can I say that 2015 is related to blue only? Can I say that 2018 is related to the red or red is related to the 2018? No. Means to say that this manufacturer year and this color, these two are independent attributes. But they are actually depending on what? Car model. 
Got my point? Both of them are dependent on the cart model. So what I can say? So there exists what multi-value dependency in this table. Clear? So now you got what is multi-value dependency and how it is actually exists uh, in a table. Then actually there exists some representation to denote multi-value dependency. See, in this case as car model and color, means color is dependent on the car model. So I'm writing here as, let me, car model and the color. Similarly, car model, let me first write it, then I will explain. Then we have menu here. As you have seen that the car model is implying both of them then they are color and manufacturer are independent attributes now as multi-value dependency exists to represent that we use a symbol this one clear so many times in exam you will find question where they are directly using this symbol I mean this symbol okay but you have to means uh, First, know that what does this symbol represent? Otherwise, you can't solve it. Okay, so to represent the multi-value dependency, we are using this symbol. Clear? So, guys, I hope that this concept of multi-value dependency is clear to you. And believe me, this is very important because then only you can understand the concept of fourth normal form. Well, okay, so today I'm going to ask one question. And that question is, what is the minimum number of attributes that should be present in a relation to exhibit multi-valued dependency that is MD if you <coughs> attend the class sincerely obviously you can answer this question and if you can answer this question of course don't delay just comment your answer okay guys then we'll meet in the next class till then take care bye bye